of MER2 News at 6. I'm Kelly Swoop. Jamie Costello has the night off. Lights and camera were all in place, but a film crew shooting Lady in the Lake in Baltimore over the weekend had to put a halt to the action. As WMER2 News' Kendall Green reports, after threats that someone would be shot, producers pressed pause on the production downtown Friday. We were in the process of unloading our trucks to do filming on Park Avenue, downtown Baltimore, when we received information that we would stop what we were doing and load up and secure our trucks. At the time, Mark Antonelli had no clue why there was a sudden change in direction, but just followed the instructions he'd been given. Baltimore police later confirmed Friday, individuals threatened the producers of that movie that if they didn't seize production, they would come back later that evening and shoot someone. The locals then told the producers that if they paid them, they would allow the production to continue. It's still unclear just how much money suspects demanded. However, the leaders of the production decided to err on the side of caution and reschedule the shoot after they found another location. Antonelli says he's glad, however, no one was hurt, including the more than 100 extras there on location. It was something I had never experienced before, obviously, just the fact that there was a potential for harm to be done to anybody. I'm appreciative of the movie company taking uh, steps to protect everyone. Jermaine was there as well, but in his car at the time. He says he saw what he considered to be suspicious activity by two men. The two people that are gentlemen that I seen, they like they were from around this area. And it looked like they were doing something that was like trying to extort. And by me looking at it, I was like, oh, no, I got my son with me. So I went in the house. He managed to avoid what he says was a potentially dangerous incident downtown when he wishes police would have been more proactive about preventing. Even if they are on the set or not, it still should have been somebody guarding that specific area. You was towing people cars, telling them don't park here, so that means somebody should have been here enforcing that and make sure nobody did it anyway. Mayor Brandon Scott weighed in on the incident Monday morning. That's the kind of activity we will not tolerate. I know uh, that the police commissioner and his team have been in contact with uh, the folks doing the film. Uh, we want to make sure that there's any, any communication gaps there. It's being investigated by the police department. In Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMER2 News.